guys and welcome to my channel I'm Gwyn Sydney and I hope you're all doing really well. If you haven't yet please like and subscribe to this channel and hit the notification button so you get notified every time I put up a video which should be like three times a week or two times a week depending on how I'm feeling. I'm trying to be consistent so hopefully it's three times a week. <laughs> so today I'm doing a video. I'm actually talking about me and I'm not very good at doing that so hopefully this video will go well but I'm not very good at talking about like personal stuff with me so I'm just but I thought like but one thing about me when I have like a revelation or something I have to share it so um I've done I'm, I'm gonna do that um yeah hopefully <laughs> hopefully I won't cry no no, no I won't cry <laughs> so anyway um yeah so there's a song obviously if you saw by the title um, Jaira, you are more than enough. So I was just in my house and I was, I was cleaning and YouTube was playing because my son was watching YouTube. And this song came up, but it was in the background, you know, when you don't really pay attention to a song. Um, I just knew it was, it was worship. So I left it on, but it wasn't really, I got like the chorus, like Jaira, you and I got that bit. Um, but I didn't really know the song. And, um, oh, I don't even have to tell this properly. I hope I, yeah. Well, anyway, yeah, and then, um, yeah, and then I just basically, I've, I'm, I've gone through, anyway, I'll get something, okay? So I just, we'll tell it properly. So that song was playing, and I just let it play, didn't really think much of it. And, um, and then, it, but the chorus was in my head. Jaira, you are now. That was in my head all the time. And then I went to my mum's house and I had a really bad day, a really emotional day. Um, uh, previously, I had just broken up with uh, my boyfriend, my son's father. I am with, and we're not together anymore. And it was, this time it was really different because it was very, it just wasn't a, a good or healthy breakup. But it needed to happen, and and it's and it's fine in that sense. But I remember, like, if you have a plan for your life, and you think something is going a certain way, even if you pray for it, you're like God, I want your plan, I want your plan. You still sometimes you're kind of guessing the way life is going, and you make plans according to that, even though you're believing God. Well, as a Christian, you should believe in God to guide you and for Him to orchestrate your your life. Because you know we can make our plan, but you know the God God's one will actually prevail. So, so um, I was just, after that happened, um, I was kind of like, you, I was finding it really difficult to see the next day and figuring out how, oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> I was just trying, so I'm so bad at being honest with myself and stuff. Not being honest with myself, I'm very good at being honest with myself. I'm not very good at being honest with myself and sharing it with other people, um, but yeah, well, if you're not doing that, if you're not helping people, then what are you doing really? So that's why I decided to do this video. So anyway, yeah, so I had, that breakup had happened and it was really difficult for me. And as I was saying, when you make plans for yourself and then you start seeing how life is going and then you think you're gonna marry this person and then marriage is a big thing, it's, it's a life thing. So it's not just one day thing, it's everything. Everything that happens around, um, when marriage happens, everything else fits around that, right? Well, if you're doing it correctly. And so I thought that was going, to, I thought that was happening. And um, even though I was constantly praying, I wasn't completely settled because there was a lot of issues in the relationship and there's a lot of things that we both needed to change. Um, and it wasn't a realistic situation, but I still kept thinking, okay, he's a father of my child and look at, like things are good at the moment. We had a stage where things were really, really good. And I was like, okay, of course this is the person. I love him, he loves me, why would it not be like that? But obviously it didn't go that way. And I had this one day when I was just feeling really broken and really, anyone who's ever been through heartbreak is one of the worst feelings in the world because it's mentally draining, physically draining. You feel it in your heart and you feel it everywhere. And, um, and this one, we've broken up a lot, but this one just felt like, okay, we're both getting older, we can't play this game anymore, it, it's done. And it was a very, as I said, a very bad ending. And um, I remember just feeling so upset that day with, it was like oh, two weeks later, I was out talking to my mum and she was encouraging me and I was crying and um, 
because obviously you have all these plans for yourself and it doesn't go how it was and it was I think I was so upset because I wasn't sure what the next step was um and I was worried and I was worried about my son and I was worried about me I'm always worried about my son and that was that my fear guided a lot of decisions that I made in life which is not good you should never make decisions based on fear but anyway when I was crying in my in my mom's room my older sister was there and um that song was playing on my mom's tablet because she was watching preaching on her tablet she was watching something and that song if you know that song that's not my mom's type of music she likes different type of worship but she doesn't really like that kind of worship music so it was it was really weird that that was playing but again I didn't acknowledge it because I was, I was crying but I knew I was thinking that's strange actually listening to that but I think again it just came up I don't think she actually went to listen to it I think it came up while she was talking to me and um that song was playing a lot in my head it was all after that time it was in my head I was like why is this song in my head I wasn't putting two and two together and I was like why am I why is this song in my head and it was on playing in my head all day long even if I'm thinking about something random it was like you know when you've got a song in your head you can kind of stop it by thinking about something else this even if I was thinking about something else it would still be there I'll be doing cooking or I'll be feeding my son or I'll be watching TV this song will come I could be angry and have an argument with one of my siblings this song will be coming in my head it was getting to a point where it was a bit oppressive so so then anyway and then um another a few days later I went for a drive with my friend I got in her car what song was playing Jaira you are more than enough Jaira 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 it was just playing in the car and I was just like oh my I said to my friend I was like oh my gosh I got this song I'm hearing it everywhere and she goes yeah I really like it um but then she didn't acknowledge it but um she didn't acknowledge the fact that I was really surprised that it was on she must have been like calm down when it's just on but like I was just like I can't believe this song is playing again so it's just been in my head over and over and over I think I'm maybe in my second third week of having this song in my head and it was going over and over and over and anyway during the whole thing with um my son my son's father and us breaking up um anyone who's been for a breakup knows the one of the most painful things about it is sometimes it can someone leaving can expose an issue do you know what I mean like an emptiness that you have and I think that was probably the most painful part was because him going made me expose certain issues about myself so that was even me being scared to be with my son on my own and the craziest thing like that's why the devil's just such a liar because he just lies to you about stuff that I can't believe how much it's not true I am always with my son I'm always with my son um but I don't know maybe when I was with him my ex it was kind of like even though it's just me and my son all the time because he wasn't always around it it's it it's like you still had this security there even if he wasn't here even if he wasn't physically here he's he's somewhere and he's still um my security kind of thing and so when we broke up it was like every i was scared to kind of be with my son alone even though we're always like i hope that makes sense we were me and my son are always together or me and my son and my family are always together his dad wasn't around all the time he was working a lot a lot a lot a lot so we didn't see him that much i realized like saturdays will come and to me saturday was a day that you have fun and you do stuff it's always been like that since i was younger so when the Saturday came, it's kind of like, I was worried about my son, like, what am I going to do with him? Like, how am I going to keep him occupied? And what, and anytime I did stuff, like if I take my son, if I took my son to the park, if I took him to the playground or anything, I always wanted someone to be there. So I'd always call up my friend, oh, do you want to come, blah, blah, blah. And, and if she would say no, if one of them said no, then I would be kind of like angry. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, what a rubbish friend. Or like, I would ask my siblings if they couldn't come because they were working. But most of the time they came. My family, like, have helped me raise my son. They're always there for me. But obviously they have stuff to do and there's sometimes that they can't come. And it was kind of like I was so afraid to do it alone. Even though I was doing it alone. I've always been raising my son alone. His dad has been... We've had problems so many times. So it's been difficult going exposed this emptiness that I was feeling. And it's weird, because that's why it's such a lie, because I was already doing it on my own, if that makes sense. So it's hard to explain without telling you the details of the relationship, but it's like, 
It, the point that I was trying to make is that there was no difference when he, we broke up. I was still taking care of my son. I was still doing everything for my son. And um, anyway, so as I was saying, this song is going round and round and round in my head constantly. I'd go to bed, I'd wake up with this song in my head. It was just in my head. I'll be thinking about even nonsense and this song will creep. It's literally creeping in my mind. Gyro, you are more than a gyro, you are no gyro, you are no... Just over and over and over. And then, like, I was just like, this song doesn't even resonate with me. Like, God, if this is you, which I think it is, because it's a, it's on me. Like, it, this song is living in me. Like, I feel like this is you, but this song is not resonating with me. I don't even understand why you put this song in my head. Like, I know that you're more than enough. Great. I know that you are gyro. And, um, yeah, and then... <laughs> So funny how like you don't realise stuff and then later on you realise like, oh okay. Um but yeah and yes yeah, so I I during that breakup time I've gone I'm still going through it now. Um it's becoming easier because I'm understanding what God's trying to do a bit more, but it was really, really painful. Really painful and physically painful, mentally draining. And it still is, I'm not gonna sit here and be like, oh yeah, I'm over it. But I'm I'm still it's still difficult. Like every day is a struggle. But my point I'm trying to get to is that song was playing over and over and over. Me and my sister picked up my son from school, or we were dropping in school, I can't remember. And um, I think I was really tired because my son was up all night. And then I was like to, I was like to my sister, oh, I can't wait to just have a man. I just want a man who's gonna take care of me. I just need, I just want that. I said, this is hard, I'm tired. I've only got one child and I'm tired. Like I'm physically tired. I mean, anyone who's got children, children are hard, they're difficult. One child is hard, let alone if you have more. That's why I have so much respect for single mothers. You are a new breed. Like, you're just, in, they're incredible human beings. I have my whole family backing me, but sometimes I'm his mother, so sometimes it does feel like I'm alone. So when I do say stuff like, oh, I can't wait to have a man, blah, blah, it's not even just a man taking care of me. It was kind of like, I can't wait to have that support system who's emotionally there with me with raising my son. So the things that I'm concerned about with my son, because like, I know how much my family love my son. They love him. But sometimes there's a difference between having like a, an auntie worry and a mother worry or a grandmother worry. It's still a worry, don't get me wrong, but it's different. A parent worry feels different because that's my, like, that's my child. He came from me, like, I know him in this, I, that's my baby. So, and anyone who knows me knows that my son is the most important thing, the most important person in my life. Like, he has made my life make sense. He's made it better. I, I can't complain, even though the toughest day was the days that he really winds me up. As he gets older, he's being more annoying. But it's like, I wouldn't change anything because I don't know who I would have been without him. But again, that's another story. Yeah, so when I was in the car with my sister and I was just like, oh, I just can't wait. I can't wait to just have someone be there and support me. And just, yeah, as I was saying, just having that emotional support, a parent support. That's what I wanted. And I was just like, oh, I can't wait. For this night in shining armor to just come and take over and do you know what i mean because i'm i'm tired i'm tired of being emotional i'm tired of being worried i just want someone to but i want a parent support someone who loves my son like me obviously my family love my son do you, do you know what i mean like just i wanted him to have the i want to i want another support that feels how i do as a parent that's what I was saying, and I was like, I can't wait, and I'm like praying, God, give, send me a man who's, who, who's there with me, emotionally. Do you know what I mean? Who knows my son as much as me, and understands why I'm so scared, but can still encourage me. And I was just, and I've been thinking that a lot, like, oh, I just can't wait to this and that. And my sister was like, you've only been single for about three weeks. But, and I was like, well, you feel like, it. it seems to you that I've been single, but I feel like I've been doing this alone for a very, very, very long time. And it's, and it's, ugh, yeah, it's, it's a lot. And I said that to my sister when I was driving and she was in the car. And I remember, and I said again, ah, oh, just once I'm mad. And then she didn't say anything. Don't know why she didn't say anything, but she didn't. And, um. It was when I got home that I realised what the song meant. Because I got home and this song is still playing. And it's not even as if it was a whole song, it was just that line. And it was, ugh, that line is, I will become them and there is certain dance. 
Jairo, you are more than enough. I would be content in every circumstance. And afterwards I got home and I remembered that. I said that to my sister a few days later. I said to her, when I said to her, oh, I just want someone to come and help me and be there. And, and then that song was playing in my head. And it was only that, it took three weeks. I finally realized God was trying to tell me in this song, you don't need this. You don't need all of that. You want it. You don't need it. I am Jaira. I am more than enough. I can do all these things. And I've also equipped you to take care of your son. I've equipped you to take care of your son. And we had a family prayer. Um, my mum was leading a family prayer with us. And then I basically prayed for strength just to get through the whole breakup and to, um, yeah, just be okay and it not be so painful and to not be so scared to be with my son. And then um, just not be so scared of what's happening with my son. And during this breakup, one thing that I pray, I didn't always pray for myself, but I pray for my son. I pray, God, just make sure that whatever's happening in our relationship with me and his father, please don't let it affect him. Please don't let his absence affect him. Please, 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 please. And it's like, it's my son is just so happy. He's just happy and he's not he doesn't even ask oh what's going on why is daddy not here he doesn't even ask that he's over it now and he's happy and he's happy with me and i've noticed that me and him are getting closer and i can't believe how much god honored that prayer i mean i can't believe it because he always honors it but every time he every time he does stuff for me i just get shocked but um and my son is happy and really really happy and he's content sometimes i well, like if in the past if me and his dad broke up he would ask for his dad a lot and he would cry and he would be upset and then me as a mother it's like oh maybe i shouldn't have ended it or maybe i shouldn't have done it. and then you just feel bad i now know that i made the right decision and that um my I did the right thing for my son. It was bigger than me. I wasn't sure if I made the right decision for me, but I knew it was good. The up and down was too toxic for my son. And God has, he's just honoured it. And my son is good. He's really happy. And um, that's one testimony in itself. But the song, I remember just, the song came to my head again. And I was just like, wow, so that's what you mean. Like, you mean that you've, you've, yeah, so my mum was leading, when I asked for the prayer, my mum was just like, um, yeah, and she, my mum just was praying over me, and she was just like saying, she was talking about Timothy in the Bible, who was raised by his mother, and she was giving all these examples of how kids are raised by their mother, and how much they need their mother, and how God has equipped women to look after their kids, they've equipped women to look after the kids, obviously, God has given, wanted man and a, a dad and a mother for a child. That's how he's, that's how he's, he's intended it. But he's also equipped women to look after the children. Men are normally the breadwinner winners. They go out to work, they take care of the home and women take care, um, sorry, men take care, financial stuff, all that kind of thing. And women take care of the home and the home includes the children. So she was just encouraging me that God has equipped you to take care of your son. You don't, you don't, you think you want all this stuff, but you don't, you don't need it. And that's what God was saying to me. He was telling me that he was more than enough and he has equipped me to do all those things. All these things that I'm longing for a man to come and help me. I don't need him to do it because I have God. And it's so, it's so, anytime you get a revelation from God, it's, it's, it's so like, oh my it's so overwhelming because you're sitting there thinking you want this and then god tells you what you really want like i don't now i have a clear understanding i don't need a man at all i've never needed a man i've done i've been looking after my son on my own but there's nothing wrong there's nothing wrong with wanting one there's nothing wrong with being taken wanting to be taken care of a man but needing needing it i don't need it and i'm so grateful for that revelation that he is really equipped me to look after my son and that he is more than enough and that's what the song is and it was oh, every time I think of this song it just makes me emotional and then it's I will be content in every circumstance so it's the situation that I'm in now I am content because I know that he's more than enough I know that he's equipped me to do everything that he's called me to do and he's called me to raise my son he's called me to put my son first and take care of him and raise him up to be a real man of god and god has equipped me to do it and once i once i got once i got that understanding i started doing more things with my son 
and realizing that he's actually okay he's okay when it's just me and him in the house he's okay because before i would do stuff like i would even if i wanted to come home and chill at home i'd go to my mom's house just so my son is occupied and he's surrounded by loads of people and he gets so much attention so much love from my family but sometimes i did just want to I do just want to come home, but I would never do that because I was scared to just it just be me and him because he wasn't raised like that. We used to live with my mum, and so he was constantly surrounded by people. And the transition, I felt like it was too much for him, so I kept going back and forth to my mum. Then his dad moved in, and then so he had someone. Now his dad has gone, so I was just really worried. And I'm just so grateful to God for telling me and showing me that he is more than enough and I don't need anything. Everything else is just a one and it's a bonus. When he does bless me with the man of whoever I'm going to marry, it's a bonus to my life. It's not, it's not like something that I need. And that's such an amazing thing how you think that you're on your own or you feel like God doesn't acknowledge certain things and... He did. I didn't say to him, God, I'm sad, I'm on my own, I feel that. I didn't say that to him, but he knew what my heart was. He knows what my heart is feeling, and he knows what my heart is saying. And he has told me that he is more than enough. And I decided that I am going to be content in every situation, in every circumstance, because I know that he's there, and I know that he's equipped me. Everything that he has given me, he's equipped me to do. So I can raise my son well. <sighs> So much has happened, so much has happened in my life and God has been so faithful and he saved me in certain areas, well in every area, things that he didn't need to save me in and this is just another example of him proving his love for me and making sure that I know that he is more than enough and that he will take care of me and my son. Um, financially, everything he'll take care he's never left me alone even when i felt alone even when this stuff happened that stuff like all that stuff that happened in my past like i he's never left me alone and he's he's loved me enough to entrust me to raise another one of his sons to raise my son and um i'm grateful for that and i'm, I'm grateful for this i am i'm grateful for the situation i'm in now because it's another it's another way for God to show how amazing he is. It's another way for him to prove that he is more than enough. He is more than enough and that he is my portion. And the song also says, um, it says something like, um, how much more would he love you? How much more would he clothe you? And it's just like, he does all these things and then, yeah. But yeah. That's, that's crazy to me. I had this song in my head over and over and over and I just didn't understand where it was coming from or what it was about and for, him, for me to have that revelation of just him telling me hey, you don't need anything Gwen, you don't need anything, I'm taking care of everything, I am more than enough, I'm not just enough, I'm more than enough, so everything that you think you need, you don't need, you just want it. But I can give you whatever, and I will give you whatever. So now I know I'm, sp I'm where I'm supposed to be. How everything is with me and my son, it's supposed to be like this. And I can rest assured that he is taking care of everything because he is more than enough. And the reason why I wanted to share this video is because life is really, really hard. And, um, and it's even harder for some people. And... God makes it easier and he makes it bearable and he makes it worth it and I wanted to encourage anyone who doesn't know God or doesn't have a relationship with Jesus to to get one because it changes your life and it makes things better and it makes things easier and it it doesn't even just make things better it's just I wouldn't be here now if I didn't have Jesus I wouldn't be alive and I know that for sure and I'm just so grateful and I just wanted to encourage anyone who's going through how I went through. If you go through a breakup, if you've never been through a break, breakup, you will never, ever, 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 ever understand the pain of a breakup. The pain of thinking you know where life is going and it's not going that way. It's, it's, it's really hard and some people really struggle with it. Some people end up keeping going back to the same person because it's too hard to deal with the other side. So, if, even if it's not a breakup or you're just feeling alone or you're struggling in life, 
God is actually more than enough. Jesus is more than enough. Jireh is more than enough. Jehovah Jireh is a provider and he protects and he's always with you. And I'm so grateful for that lesson now. But yeah, I hope that really does help someone. If you've heard the song, it's by Evelation Church. I, I don't know the name of the guy who actually sings it. I've seen a few people doing it, but there's a particular one that I love. Um, I'm going to put a link down because I just want people to listen to it. It's, the lyrics are amazing. Forget about the song. The lyrics are just amazing and so necessary. Um, but let me know if you like that song. Do you like that song? If you like that song, let me know in the comments. Tell me how you feel. Tell me how you feel about what I'm saying. And let me know. Yeah, let me know your thoughts or share your testimony with me. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys are all happy if you're not to find out about Jesus because he is here to save and he does save. <laughs> well, thanks a lot guys thanks for watching this video if you haven't yet don't forget to like and subscribe hit the notification button and please get in touch write in the comments let me know your thoughts but bye for now thank you bye